Hello, in this demo we are going to explore arrays a little. Now I'll start a new project, console application, limit as arrays example 2. Say okay. Now in our earlier example we created an array and we were storing all the values directly in our program we were assigning the values from our program we were hard coding that now I would like to write a program in which it should accept all the values from the keyboard so now let us declare an array of a little small size now I'll say array of size 5 a equals to new int of 5 now this is another way of declaring the array the same thing what we did in our earlier program I can declare an array in this way then I'll say a equals to new int of size 5 I have two ways either of the way is correct either I can use this or that now I'll just comment out this this will be no more included in our program now I have declared an array using another way like int a of size 5 now I want to accept all the values from the keyboard so as to display all the values of an array we were using for loop in the same way if we want to accept all the values from the keyboard then I need to use for loop again I'll say for int i equals to 0 i less than length length of the array is 5 then here i'll say a of i equals to in dot parse console dot read line a of i equals to in dot parse console dot read line so using this i'll be accepting all the values from the keyboard now i'll just put a breakpoint and I'll execute this now I value is 0 0 less than 5 is true now it is going to enter into the loop and it will be asking the value from the keyboard and I'll be giving a value as 56 I'll press enter now if you observe this the value at 0th location is 56 now I'll say F11 your I value will be incremented to 1 I value got incremented to 1 i less than 5 is true then it is asking me another value i'll give 89 i'll press enter if you observe the second so in this way i am trying to accept all the values from the keyboard third value fourth value and the fifth value is 12 now i value will become 5 5 less than 5 is false it comes out of the loop so i have stored all the values in the array and i have accepted all the values from the keyboard now if you observe one thing i need to remember the size of the array so if the size of the array is 5 then i should say 5 if it is 6 i should say 6 if it is 100 i should say 100 so instead of me remembering the size i can simply say array dot length so it will automatically take the length of an array if it is 5 it will take 5 if it is 6 it will take 6 if it is 100 it will take 100 now using this I am trying to accept the values from the keyboard I want to display all the values to the window it's again the same thing I should use for loop int i equals to 0 i less than now I will say a dot length fine now I will be displaying the elements console dot write line a of i I need to give 5 elements 1 2 3 4 and the 5th element so it should display 5 56 69 78 41 fine so I want to hang the output window so I'll just say console dot read line I'll press F5 now I'll enter the elements 56, 89, 32, 60, 
so it is going to display me 56 89 32 65 and 74 now this is how I am displaying all the elements that means I am iterating through all the elements one after the other from location 0 till lo last location so to iterate through all the elements of an array or to iterate through a list whatever I have say list of elements to iterate through list of elements or array or list of objects or array of objects that will be you know looking in our future classes so anyway if I have a list and I want to iterate through the list then I will be using for each loop for each now all the elements in the array are of type integer so I will say int k I will declare a variable int k in a and here I will say console dot right line k now how is that it is going to work what is that it will do I need not to say start from 0 until uh, the length and all those things these things will be taken care by your for each loop so how it works it will first extract the top element of the array and it will store it in k and it we are trying to display that then it will go for the next index index 1 it will take the element in put it in k and we are displaying it then it will extract the element of index 2 that means third element in the same way fourth it will store it in k and we are going to display in the fifth it will store it in k and it will display in our con using console dot right line it is going to store it in k so in this way it is going to extract one element after the other from the array and going to store it in k and we are using k so in this way whatever the task we are performing using for each uh, for loop we can perform that using for each now i'll just comment out this for loop and let us see how your for each works i need to give five elements first from keyboard four and the fifth element is this now if you observe in a i have all five elements five to these things now it will extract phi and it will try to store it in k now the k is 0 initially it will extract phi and it will try to store it in k see that the k value becomes 5 and I am displaying phi next element is 2 it will extract 2 and it will store it in k see that k contains 2 then I am displaying it the same way next is 36 if you observe this thing next element is 47 next is 4 as 4 is the last element it will simply comes out of the loop after this 4 fine so this is how your for each works so for each work for displaying the elements or iterating through the set of elements or iterating through the set of elements and we can use only for iteration for each is used only for iteration not for you know storing the values and all those things just for iterating through the elements see for example while iteration I want to filter something I will say if k percent 2 equals to 0 then only I want to display that means I want to filter out even even elements like you know from the array I want to display only even elements elements which are even number just press F5 now I will give few elements 4 is an even 3 is not an even 12 is an even 5 is not an even and 78 is an even so it is going to display 4, 12 and 78 so this is how I can use you know for each uh, to filter the elements or to if I want to work with each and every element in separate ways and all those things so uh, we will be using for each very very frequently in our future classes where you know I'm trying to handle array of objects I have uh, you know list of employees and I'm trying to iterate through all the employees and I want to list out the employees whose salary is more than 5000 and all in, in many many scenarios we are going to uh, you know see this for each loop so this is how your for each loop works now I'll just comment out this for each loop 
and I'll uncomment this for loop I'll save this I'll just display a message saying that console dot write line enter five elements so that you know end user should have some convenient message here I'll say console dot write line elements that you entered are these are the elements that you have entered now what is that I am doing here the manner in which I am storing the element I am displaying them so in the same manner in which I have stored the element I am displaying them 5, 2, 45, 63, 78 enter 5 elements elements that you entered are this now what I want I want to sort these elements I want to sort this so hope you might have heard about some sorting techniques in C uh, like bubble sort selection sort heap sort insertion sort so you used to write some big XYZ programs fine you need not to worry you need not to write all such kind of programs here but what is that you need to do you need to simply call a method you need to simply call a method to sort them so I want to sort all these elements so I'll call a method which is present in array class array dot sort and here I'll pass the array name array name is a now my elements got sorted after sorting I want to display them same thing I'll do I'll just copy and I'll paste I want to display the elements after sorting elements elements that you sorted are I'll save this I'll just press F5 enter 5 elements now if you observe elements that you entered I entered the element in this manner 5 2 48 20 11 but element that you sorted after sorting elements will become 2 5 11 20 48 so I got the elements in ascending order so do I need to write any big or complex logic no simply I am calling a method called as sort I'll just put a breakpoint and let us see how your method works I'll enter 5 elements now these are the elements that I have 5 3 25 12 11 now I am calling this method once this method gets executed you check the elements oops I mm, will just say 5 I need to press F11 actually so I am entering the elements 12 25 10 6 45 so these are the elements that I have now I will press F11 now you see that elements got sorted 6 10 12 25 now elements after sorting these are the elements I am trying to access elements after sorting so by default it is going to sort the elements in ascending order hope you should get a question in your mind if I want to arrange them in descending order it's very easy after sorting them just you reverse it I'll say array dot reverse I have a reverse method I'll say array dot reverse a after sorting if I reverse them they will become in descending order Let's press F5 now if you observe 45 is on top then 36 then 25 then 12 then 10 so I got the elements in descending order so it's very easy very simple single line of code that's it for your sorting this is what your sorting technique you can implement using arrays if you want you can work around uh, all the methods that you have in arrays 
you have even you know searching you, you can go for index of search for index last index of you know you have various functions you can work out like if you want you can dig into that fine now finally the last thing that i would like to show you in this is if i want the sum of all the elements of array so what is that i should do it's very simple very simple technique i need to use same for loop so before that i'll declare an integer variable int sum equals to 0 and come into the loop instead of displaying the value of a of i i'll just say sum equals to sum plus a of i so it is going to add all the values of the array and i'm trying to display it console dot right line sum is sum if i want to find the sum of all the elements of an array this is the way that i can do so i have entered the element arranged in descending order then the sum is 1 not 4 see this is very important why because when you are developing some applications you might be uh, coming across various points where you need to perform this kind of summation so this logic take an example of shopping cart application where you have uh, checked for n number of products and it is going to display all the products in a grid with the amount that you need to pay on the right column so what is that we need to do we need to sum all the values of that column and need to display the grand total at the footer so the same logic we need to use sum equals to sum plus a of i that will not be an array or something but the logic is sum equals to sum plus a of i kind of logic so this logic you will be coming across many many situations once you are going for your real time development hope you get these things thank you very much